तेलंगाना स्प्राइट और वन लाख करोड़ रुपीज ऑफ मिराज वेल द कालेश्वरम डैम सागा लिफ्ट द फ्लड गेट्स ऑन कॉस्ट करप्शन एंड कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी सो हे अब यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट डैम इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट एंड इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन अ डैम दैट इज नोन एज के एल आई पी दैट इज कालेश्वरम लिफ्ट इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट इन आवर वंडरफुल स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना so let's talk about what is the controversy what are the key concerns and remember you are watching study iq as english channel your favorite one and i am your educator pravin mishra so guys here are the concerns here is the whole news with regard to the klip so it is a massive multi stage lift irrigation scheme built on a river that is known as yes the godavari river in the state of telangana it was conceived basically to stabilize and expand the irrigation in the state of telangana obviously supply the drinking as well as the industrial water and recharge the ground water but it has become a cornerstone basically a case study in the techno economic risk environmental law as well as the dam safety failure and the governance scrutiny right so a project that was said to be the biggest lift irrigation project of the whole globe right unfortunately the tag to the project is right now you know concerning concerning with regard to some uh, what you say corruption kind of see incompetency or kind of the reluctance and irresponsible behavior from the authorities as well so it has become a case study simply from the perspective of the environmental law governance scrutiny the usage of finance the uses the usage basically of the public money so this is what the kaleshwaram lift irrigation project for you so let's go ahead with the details what the project actually is the key figures the key numbers and its scope so it was you know just with one single aim to divert nearly 195 tmc of water from godavari okay from its major uh, one of the tributary what we can say that is known as medi gadda to irrigate roughly 18.25 lakh acres of land and provide 40 tmc of approx water for cities such as hyderabad and secunderabad and 16 tmc of water for the industrial usage so as you can see how grand how humongous it is if it would have been implemented properly but unfortunately as the reports that is published in the hindu newspaper today tells us it is heartbreaking it is disturbing so let's see the features the first thing that we need to discuss here the kaleshwaram project is a spread over a huge area and built in the multiple stages like the first one is the seven links seven links basically as mentioned here think of them as seven big chains of connected works that move water from one place to another so seven particular platforms or seven particular stations has been created to move water of those tmc level of waters from one place to another secondly 28 packages basically these are smaller work sections given to different contractors to build so 28 power stations basically you can call them then the span the coverage 500 kilometers 13 districts of telangana almost half of the districts of telangana 500 kilometers if you are not able to understand if you are resident of north india somewhere so you can relate the distance from lucknow to delhi is what 500 kilometers and so this klip project was covering the area okay that is up to 500 kilometers spanning 13 districts of telangana simply speaking half of the districts of telangana and finally the gravity canals okay the span of 500 kilometers and the gravity coverage of up to 1500 kilometers that is basically long open channels where water flows naturally downhill without pumping right so no pumping is needed the downhill channels okay so that the water can move through along with the force of gravity and no scope of pumping is there basically no need of pumping is there but here are the concerns the first concern as you can see the economics and finance why the experts raised their eyebrows what actually happened here so let's talk about the problem So the first and foremost thing the original cost versus the actual cost 
when the DPR, that is the detailed project report, was finalized by the Central Water Commission, it was said that some 81,900, so basically 82,000 crores would be used in the construction of this project that is known as KLIP. But the moment the KLIP project was finalized, the cost that was actually incurred was way, way ahead than the actual costing that the actual budget as you can see the actual cost raised up to 1 lakh 5000 crores roughly 2500 crores uh, sorry yes 2500 crores are you know excess in use it's not a small amount it's the money used by the public money itself it is used by the public taxation itself so 81,900 crores was the actual budget and now as you can see it is completed with 1 lakh 5,000 crores here. So obviously it has raised some concern with related to design, delays and possibly poor planning and a thing that has not been mentioned is yes the utmost level of corruption at the political and the bureaucratic level as well. Now the concerns how it was funded it was not funded out of the state budget of telangana a special purpose vehicle a special purpose agency was created to take loans from multiple organizations as well as the other state as well as private actors for the funding of this one particular project so ultimately what has happened it is not shown in the budget annual budget of the Telangana state but ultimately the 1 lakh 5000 crores of the cost that has been incurred in creation in construction of this project that is obviously right now considered almost a failed project why so you'll get to know in the next couple of minutes okay so obviously this is now being shown in the debt books of the state of Telangana so as you can see here a special a lot of money was borrowed through a special purpose vehicle basically a separate company created just to raise the loans for the project and many of these borrowings were of the main state budget meaning they didn't directly show up in the Telangana's yearly budget but still added to the state's debt burden not in the budget but yes into the liability it has enhanced the state's literal sense in the literal sense it has enhanced the state's overall debt burden one lakh five thousand crores right so if we go ahead with the further of the discussion what cag has to mention the control and order general of india under article 148 providing reports under article 149 50 and 51 so cag Report, the report of the CAG is not so satisfying in nature as well here. As per the report, contracts were awarded before the DPR was even approved. Just like, you know, you start making or building up your house before finalizing the blueprint. Second, the capital cost per acre was very high as compared to the other irrigation projects nationally. Very, very high. Simply speaking, out of every one rupee spent on this project, the actual uh, what we can say profit or benefit that can be incurred is just 0.75 paise or basically 75 paise what we must quote here okay so obviously it is not economically viable as well as in any you know in any standard terms it is nowhere logical as well right so the scale ip project is economically a burden to the state exchequer as well so out of every one rupee spent how much earning can be done 75 paisa only so every one rupee you will face a deficit of 25 paisa and this is the statement this is the actual record or the actual calculation given to us by the comptroller and auditor general of india that is cag so as you can see the project estimated cost 81,900 crores okay completed in roughly 1 lakh 5,000 crores and now the next problem the annual electricity cost would be average 6,000 crores to manage this KLIP, that is Kaleshwaram Lift Irrigation Project. This will be the annual cost. This is actually the annual cost, not will be the actual cost. So as we can see, the big running cost, simply the electricity. So since water is lifted multiple times, huge pumps have to run almost continuously. And independent estimates suggest that just the bill for pumping 
could roughly be 5,000 to 7,000 crores per year. So what we have kept, 6,000 crores per year, right? So basically, it will add the loan repayments to that and the per acre cost of irrigation would become very, very high, ultimately making it a very hard project to be continued. And obviously, when the irrigation would be costly, obviously, the farm produce will be costly. The farmer's support would be taken into the consideration. The farmer's uh, the, uh, availability of the markets would be taken into the consideration. The geographical and environmental conditions will be taken into the consideration as well. Are we ready for such type of considerations? Are we ready with such type of platforms where we can, you know, provide our farmers with enhanced level of cost into the irrigation? Will we able to provide the answer to the consumers, to the buyers, of this agricultural produce that why they have to pay extra amount of money just because some loopholes some controversies some reluctance some incompetency some incompetency and some you know irresponsible behavior was shown and some corrupt behavior was shown in the time of the construction of the scale ip project will we provide this type of justification absolutely not but yes this is the understanding for all of us that whatever inflation we are facing is having a very solid reason behind this and the solid reason is not positive in nature. Obviously, it's negative in nature, just like this, what you're watching, right? Now, the next big issue, the technical safety controversy, the failure that exposed the KLIB weakness, right? And what's this? Exactly the date, on 21st October 2023, a pillar in block seven of the Medigadda barrage actually sank, or basically you can say collapsed. And this led to the emergency drawdown and triggered the investigations. So what you can see, the National Dam Safety Authority, NDSA inspections, they have reported severe settlement, piping, seepage, and structural distress along this, across this Medigadda project, or this basically the barrage. Now, NDSA called the damage as irreparable, right? So the damages are kind of irreparable. What are you going to expect further? Right, so a barrage, the Medigadda barrage, that is the biggest barrage here in the scale IP project. The biggest barrages, block seven, sank, a pillar sank. And when it comes into the NDSA, so NDSA has clearly quoted that the damage is literally irreparable. So the repairs and investigations have been technically complex and slowed. Example, the monsoon cons uh, the monsoon constraints. During the time period of the monsoon, during the time period of the uh, heavy rainfall, okay, you can't go ahead and expect the authorities to go ahead with the further kind of a repair or any kind of the inspection as well. So basically, irreparable. Next, and the biggest problem, the legal and the environmental issues. What are the legal implications to the scale IP? Well, talking about the clearances, the environmental impact assessment as well as the NGT literally denied its construction. But what has happened, you can see here. So November, or sorry, October 2020, NGT held that the environmental clearances were ex post facto and ordered suspension of work except for the drinking water component. The forest and EIA concerns says that if this project continues, it will flood the downstream state here that is being irrigated or drained by the river Godavari that is known as Maharashtra. So it is a big, big trouble in case you go ahead with this one particular project. Okay, so it has flagged the ecological impacts as well as the procedural lapses, right? So that has been a concern for the state of Telangana as well as for the state of Maharashtra and as it could add the flooding complaints in the border districts. So in any way, this project doesn't seem viable, neither in its construction, neither in its finance, neither in its usage, neither in its utilization. And you know, its side effects, its aftermath, as you can see, these, two first, uh, the, these first two lines, they're not too satisfying in nature right it's not just the trouble for the state which is there that is telangana but also the adjoining ones that is maharashtra 
And now let's talk about the fact here, the judicial and the administrative probes. Guys, just please take the name very carefully. Justice PC Ghost Commission. Okay. So this is the commission related to what? Commission related to the investigation or the probe into the KLIP. That is the Kaleshwaram Lift Irrigation Project. Okay. What is the name of the commission? Justice PC Ghost Commission. Okay. That's it. That's enough for you to remember. Okay, guys. So please keep these points ready with you. We are done with the discussion of the KLIP. And please, this is the fact that is PC Ghost Commission. And here we have few MCQs for you. The first one. Okay, related to the PC Ghost Commission itself. You have to tell the four statements are there. And which among the four statements? They are the correct one remember what you have to identify the correct one so this is question number one for you you can just have a look and then we have got the question number two here it is it's with regard to the irrigation technique so which irrigation technique is more you know suitable is more viable when it comes to our country okay so we have got four options here so which of the following okay which of the above is actually once again you have to tell the correct one so this is question number two for you and then we have got the third question here as well. Question number three. It's with regard to the National Dam Safety Act of 2021. Okay. So once again, four statements and select the correct. Once again, what? The correct answer. So guys, we have got three questions. Please do let us know the correct answer into the, into the comment section. Okay. Question number one, two and three. Okay. We'll be waiting for your answers eagerly. And remember guys, if you are a serious UPSC CSC aspirant, and if you want such practice to be done in a very greater manner. So remember, we have got our batches that are commencing from 15th of August. And if you enroll today and before 15th of August, so you will get 47% of discount as Independence Day is coming. So we are trying our best to provide to our students the maximum possible, you know, uh, discounts so that you can avail the best thing in the minimum of the price. So 47% off guys, take the subscription today. The resolution batch, the Nirman batch, the Pratigya batch, they are all waiting for you, right? With 1000 plus hours of live classes, access to recorded lectures, class notes of the teacher given to you at the end of the session in the PDF format. Further, 1-8, 18 sets of printed books will be given to you at your doorstep. No need to go anywhere to collect them. Prelims test series, main test series, interview guidance program, everything under one single subscription. Remember, 75 plus tests for your prelims, 15 plus tests for your mains, and multiple mock interviews for your personality test as well. And the most important thing that I love a lot is the MRP. That is the mains residential program. What is this mains residential program? It is, once you have qualified your prelims, that for sure, if you are enrolled here in this batch, for sure you are going to qualify. So once you have qualified, you will be called to Delhi's Rajinder Nagar, that is the hub of civil services. And here, we will be providing you the offline classes from the great same educators with whom you learned in the online mode. And your accommodation will be totally on us, as in simply, you don't have to pay a single penny, one single rupee for your accommodation for those 90 days. That is the gap, the bandwidth between your prelims and your mains right so remember guys nothing to be paid except the subscription amount that you are going to pay today with regard to this independence sale independence day sale 47 percent off it is but remember you will get the maximum possible discount that is 47 percent off only when you have got this promo code with you that is prv live so guys please keep this promo code copied with you okay before purchasing any subscription whether on upsc gs optional judiciary or any other particular course that you are availing on the study iq platform you will get 47 percent off but only with just one condition what is the condition you have to apply this promo code that is prv live Okay, guys, so quickly enroll and see you all from 15th of August in our resolution batches. And before you leave, guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button of the Study IQ IS English. You know the agenda of the channel very well. Provide you quality and quantity of the content required in your UPSC CSE journey. And in case you wish to connect with me, here is the QR code of my Telegram channel that is named as Praveen underscore Study IQ. So you can connect with me here or else you can also connect with me on my Instagram channel that is Praveen Mishra underscore 2107. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Good day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hit the subscribe button and never miss an update from the channel. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.